my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen if you are here for the first time i love you thank you so much for stopping by when you finish watching please consider subscribing my return subscribers the original of the original Mwah, from me to you i love you thank you so much so this uh, breaking news this one is a breaking news that's what they said here they said breaking news breaking news <clears throat> convention apc convention adamu announces lawan as the census candidate at nwc meeting so this is a breaking news because people has been waiting uh to see who and the adamu guy is. so this is the one the senate president that has been there the one that said yeah and a nah, and he will knock knock on the table okay yeah got it okay now nah, got it now he's not been uh going for campaign to to be the president and uh, a couple of months ago, uh, Muhammad Buhari <clears throat> did a, I think it was a Rise News or some, or uh, one of the Nigerian news. And they asked him who he's going to support for 2023 election. He said he will not announce that person right now because if he announces the person right now, that something bad might happen to the person so they don't he doesn't want to announce it but he had somebody in mind so all this time he kept quiet so i think yesterday they say he called all the governors all the people that were running for um for this a uh, presidency something first of all he sent some group of people to go to ahmed uh, 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 Tinubu, to go and tell him i said please uh, uh, come down do, uh, drop down for other people you don't have to be there uh, that person was very very upset he said how how in the world does he want me to do it or if he wanted me to drop off he would have just called me or invite me to to asoro why would he say people it's an insult because if he wasn't for me he will not be there if it was not for me this is my turn to be the president so they're making it turn by turn on who how many people they would delete who delete more people that's what they're making it turn by turn to be your president and you are sitting down there waiting for them to continue to do turn by turn on your head so let us see what happened here they said uh, the person that did this news is a uh, clifford <clears throat> clifford did this news he said contrary to the positions of most northern governors on uh on power shift to the south national chairman of the all progressive congress senate uh abdullahi adamu has announced senate president ahmed lawan as the apc consensus president shall candidate adamu hmm. adamu gadad announced this at the meeting of the national working committee n w c on monday which is today in abuja <clears throat> good however some members of the NWC so said kicked against this announcement. So they moved and insisted that other presidential aspirants, which include Ashiwa Jubola Tunubu, Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, Dr. Kayode, Engineer David Umahi, must be allowed to contest in the primary election at tomorrow's convention at the Eagle Square Abuja. Adamu adoption of Lawan Lawan as a consensus candidate is against the position of eleven APC Northern governors who endorsed that power must shift to the south. After this president, Mohamed Buhari tenure, Adamu told the NWC that he arrived at this, he arrived at this choice of Lawan after consulting with President Mohamed Buhari. Hmm. Buhari Northern Governors in closed doors meeting, reaching to the move some APC Northern governors raced to Asorok Villa and currently meeting, as we speak now with Mohamed Bugari, 
The meeting is coming a day before the commencement of the party convention to elect its presidential candidate for the 2023 general election. So the, uh, the nomination is supposed to be for tomorrow. So today, that person that uh, Buhari has been hiding, Buhari said, give me the chance to be the one to get somebody that will succeed me. Give me the chance to pick the president that will rule 200 and plus uh, people, 200 and plus million people. Give me the chance. I have to be the one to pick, pick somebody that will succeed me. Maybe he think this is 1967 or 1980 something. Maybe that's what he's thinking. He's not, he doesn't know that the things have changed. He doesn't know that people, they are head, they are wise enough to understand what he is doing. That he wants to pick somebody that will come and complete like a, a what's his name? Um, the vice president came out and announced as to come to run for president and announced that he is here to conclude or to complete what Muhammad Buhari started. Nigerians went crazy. Say, eh? Did you just say you want to conclude what Muhammad, or Muhammad Buhari started? What you and Muhammad Buhari started? Maybe now that they, they have really shown him that he doesn't belong in their group. They have shown him that no matter how much you kiss our back, we don't care about you. They have really shown him that he is a dummy. That all the school that he went just thrown in a trash. They have just shown him that somebody who did not finish high school can really remote him around and there's nothing he can do about it. Maybe now he can come and tell us what he know about Muhammad Buhari. Maybe now he can come and tell us what is going on in the in the in the Asorok. Maybe now he can come and tell us why as a as a uh, what do you call it? As a mm, mm, as a lawyer. He will sit and see people's rights trampled and he sit and keep quiet. Maybe now he can tell us as a pastor why people will be in church and they will go and delete them and he will sit and keep quiet because he wants to be the president of the dead, not the living. Because if you want to be the president of the living, you will say something when the people are being deleted inside the church. You will say something about it. That's what he wants to do. But now, they have shown him that he does not matter. They have shown him that, nah, you, you, you know, rich at all. They have shown him that all the school that he went is just rubbish. Maybe now he can come and join the train. It's not too late, though. It's not too late. It's not too late for you to come out. Or oh, you're going to be the vice president for Lawan, too. Maybe that's why. If he doesn't start speaking from tomorrow after they make it and make the announcement and tell him that they don't want him, I will be so sorry for him because by that time it will be too late for him and Nigerians won't give a damn where he is. So my lovely people, I saw all these things in. I said this is just happening. Oh. We don't know what can happen between now and tomorrow. We don't know. So open your eyes. If you don't have PVC, it's your fault. Now is the time to make a statement. Nigerians, you can make a statement. And you can do it. I trust you. I believe in you. Yes, we are not at home. And, and they didn't allow us to vote from where we are. Trust me. If they had allowed us to vote from where we are, uh, there won't be any more challenge over there because people, only people in abroad will take care of the business. So there is no way this will continue to happen in front of us and you don't have a job, you don't have common light. Light, light is life. You are the light of the world. Who leaves the light of the world to come to the darkness of the world? Nobody does that. Nobody. You'll be talking to your sisters in light. The next minute, they take the, the hopeless goes dark, as dark as this. That's not life. So, my lovely people, get up. Stand up. Make a big statement. Our life depends on it. Our life depends on this 2023. Your life depends on it. Your life depends. <coughs> your children's life depends on this election. We cannot afford any more four years of all this deleting. We cannot afford it. Put up your leg. Stand up and get up and get your PVC and vote. 
The only two people that I know now that is standing there that I like yo is Omoye Lesha Woleo and Peter Obi. These two people, these two people, I like them all, two of them. I like them. Like I've, I've always said in my videos, if there's a way they can work together and throw all the pride they wear and work together, I don't care how they do it. I do not care how they do it. Do something to bring Nigeria out of the hands of this evil people. My lovely people, I saw it. I said, here we go again. We're not surprised. We knew that's where it was going. We knew because we know. We know that this will happen. It's just by tomorrow, Tuesday, then they will confirm it and let us know what we already know. So my lovely people, I saw that I am about to dig this video right here, right now on a Monday that this is breaking and put it here for you to see why we wait for tomorrow to confirm whatever it is that is going on Mwah, mwah to you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.